This is the graph showing the current flowing through the diode as a function of the voltage across it. Notice I sub s, the very small reverse bias current that flows through the diode and is the result of a voltage driven drift current. It's frequently referred to as the saturation current. It is typically on the order of 10 to the minus 18th to 10 to the minus 12th amps. Notice also the exponential nature of the curve for positive values of the voltage. Appreciable current begins to flow somewhere around 0.3 to 0.4 volts, and depending upon the diode, generally somewhere between 0.6 and 0.9 volts, the diode is in full conduction mode. LEDs frequently have a larger junction voltage and will require more than a volt to fully conduct. Continuing to increase the reverse bias voltage leads to a point where the diode breaks down and a significant reverse current begins to flow. Generally this doesn't irreversibly damage the diode but it is possible to burn it out if you get too much current flowing through the diode and it just literally burns out. There are two different mechanisms that can account for this reverse current flow. The first is known as the Zener effect. In fact, there's a type of diode called a Zener diode designed to use this breakdown effect to limit voltages in a circuit. Zener breakdown results when the reverse voltage is great enough to cause covalent bonds in the depletion region to break. Those breaking bonds liberate electrons and, flow and holes, which then flow under the influence of the junction voltage. When this occurs, there's very little further change in the diode voltage. At this point, the current ends up being limited by the circuit around it. Generally, Zener breakdown happens at reverse voltages less than about 5 volts. The second mechanism is known as avalanche breakdown. This results at larger reverse voltages and arises when minority carriers constituting I sub S have enough kinetic energy to break covalent bonds in atoms they collide with. These freed carriers are then swept by the reverse voltage across the depletion region and in turn collide with other atoms, liberating even more carriers and hence the name avalanche breakdown.